Okay, and so what you're looking at here is you're looking at the portion fix. And the portion fix is a little turnkey um, turnkey system that has the tools that we're talking about here, has the containers, it's got the, uh, the eating guide, and that's going to have some extra recipes in it, all that good stuff. So if that's something that you want, I encourage you to do some research on it. It's just going to make what we're talking about here a whole lot easier. It's 40 bucks for that program, and it'll give you the tools to help you out. Now, it's not necessary. You can use what I'm reviewing here and giving you the fundamentals. I'm giving you the basics of this program here, and you can apply it and use it yourself. Now, what I want to go into is I want to go into the um, the breakdown of how to arrive at your individual needs in a little more specific and scientific way beyond what the that simple body weight times 11 calculation uh, offers. So let's go and use that same um, 180 pound person, okay? So I'm going to be 180 pounds. My body fat, let's give them a 13% body fat. We need to designate whether they're male or female because generally males have more um, muscle mass than females and that is accounted for in this little equation here. So male is 11. Now I am somebody that wants to lose, let's go for a pound and a half a week and we're going to ignore the weight gain. But what we've got to figure out is we've got to figure out what their, um, what the activity is for this particular person. So what I've included here is a client that does P90X at home, and let's say they do that two times a week. And on average, they burn 250 calories during their um, P90X session. And let's say at the end, they, they uh, attend Camp Gladiator three times a week, and their average there is they burn, uh, I'm going to give them 500, because that's an hour-long workout, uh, as opposed to P90X3, which is a 30-minute workout. Now, a, a little note here is that if you were to invest in a heart rate monitor with a calorie burn calculator, you can arrive more specifically at what your calorie burn is. There's some pretty cool tools online that you can use to figure out how many calories on average are burned through a given activity, but nothing's going to replace you figuring that out yourself because your intensity may be higher or lower than the estimate that you're getting from the website. Those devices cost anywhere between 40 and you can spend a fortune on them actually, but you can get what you need for about 40 bucks. And we're not talking about one that you just, that you put your thumb on to get your heart rate. You need a telemetry strap or you need to be continually knowing what your heart rate is and it needs to be giving you your calories burned per minute. I love the Polar, um, the Polar F series for this. Very good uh, tool at minimal cost. All right, so let's go back to the spreadsheet. So we also have to figure out what this person's daily life is. Is this an office worker, somebody that sits on their butt in a cubicle all day, or is this a guy that is a mail carrier or that um, uh, he's UPS or FedEx and he's jumping on and off a truck all day? So most people are in that uh, sedentary desk job. Most of us are there. So that's what we're going to use. So what we've got here is if we accumulate all these different sources of calorie burn, we take the activity, you know, just lifestyle activity. We take how many times they're doing their boot camp, Clamp Gladiator, and doing P90X. We get um, that they're burning on average per day, 630 calories. So the spreadsheet plugs this in, the yellow cells are locked. So what this person needs in order to maintain their weight of 180 pounds is 2,352 calories. Now, and that's what we're seeing here in um, column F6. Now, if they want to lose weight, if they want to come down, let's just do a pound a week. If we're going to lose a pound a week, we need to take 500 calories off of that. That means they need to be at an 1,852 calorie level. And so let's go correspond that to the sheet, 1,850. That's going to put them in range three. Okay, let's go back and let's get a little more aggressive. Let's go a pound and a half per week. Pound and a half per week, that's 1,600 calories. That drops them down into the next category. See how that works? Okay, the next portions. Now, let's go to, let's say we want to lose three pounds a week. Okay, 
three pounds a week. That's overly aggressive. Now you're at 852 calories. That's not enough to survive. And what that's going to end up doing is putting this person in starvation mode. And starvation mode means they're going to be hanging on to everything because their body is not getting what it needs in order to function properly. So we're going to stop at this 1200 to 1499 range. This is the lowest anybody's going to go. Unless you happen to be a very unique case and you happen to be 75 pounds, um, you know, and that's your, you know, your four, four foot two, 75 pounds, then we need to talk and get some more one-on-one -on -one counseling. But in general, this is where you're going to go. So um, let me go through and make sure that I hit all my notes and all my highlights. Um, let's see. I'm going to go to back to my spreadsheet, not spreadsheet, but PowerPoint presentation. Ah, okay. So I put this little, um, little picture in because when we're on a, a fat loss journey or a health and wellness journey, I'm going to use the metaphor of traveling from Dallas to New York. Basically, if we want to get from New York, if we want to get to, Dow to New York from Dallas, we simply need to know, okay, I need to go in a northeasterly direction. And you head that direction, you're going to start getting pretty close to your destination. So in terms of uh, fat loss, let's say you've got 60, 50 pounds to lose, something like that. If you just generally make some better choices, you start cutting out soda, you start, um, you start eating you know, three meals a day to begin with, you start cutting out fast food, you start walking around the block, all those are going to take you in that direction. But eventually, you're going to have to get a little more specific. You're going to have to hone in. Let's say that our goal is not only to get to New York, but we want to arrive at Radio City Music Hall. When we get, when we get closer to our destination, we've got to have more specific instructions to get where we want to go. And in terms of losing the last 10 pounds or something of that nature, that's when you really have got to dial in on your portions. And that's why this, this program, this fix, the, the fix approach to nutrition is so amazing is it gives you what you need. Our bodies are like four or five cycle engines and we've got to have all the right combinations of food in order to get the best results from our bodies. All right, so go back into this, uh, to my spreadsheet here. Okay, so these are the resources that I provided. Um, this is a link to the meal plan. I'll put all of these associated with this video and also in the um, also in the, the the event page so you can grab them. Here's just a, a larger view of that um, example. And so this is not about counting calories. Once you have gotten your portions under control, there's no need to count calories. That's what's so awesome about this approach is if it's like if you were building a house and you didn't measure the two by four that you were framing that house with. You just nailed it into place and then you measured it afterward. What good does that do? And that's really what counting calories is like. So if you eat something and then you log it into my fitness pal, but you didn't measure it in advance, then you've taken the wrong amount of what you need and consumed it in your body. It makes a whole lot more sense to cut that two by four in advance. It's the old, old measure twice cut once adage. So you measure your portions, you consume that portion, you don't have to go back and calculate your calories or track your calories afterwards. You just follow the plan and you will get the results. So I am going to just kind of review real quick. Okay, we got, um, we got the we went through the basics here. We covered all the food. We looked at the sheet and the tracker is available. The tracker is available at, with a download in this on this document. Um, and let's see, we hit the portion fix if you want to buy the entire portion fix program. So what I haven't got into is the... Um, is the group that we're going to, that I'm going to launch uh, today. Uh, this is December 31st. Happy New Year. And on Monday... January 5th, I'm launching a free group, a coaching group, where we're going to be holding each other accountable, dialing in our specifics so that we can get the best results possible for 2015. I'm going to take you through a program for five days, the 5th of the 10th, where you're going to be checking in, reporting your activity and nutrition, and just learning how to master this approach. So um, thank you for your attention. hope that this really helps you transform your health and fitness. 
uh, one final thought is the father of modern medicine. His name is Hippocrates. He had a very powerful statement. He said, let thy food be thy medicine and medicine thy food. And that is what's really powerful about this is that you begin to understand the power of putting the right things in your body at the right times. It will create a degree of health and wellness for you that you, that'll blow your mind. Anyway, um, again, trainer and coach Josh signing off. Um, appreciate you guys being here. And if I can help you in any way, shape or form, reach out. And uh, if you live locally, love to see you out to one of my camp gladiator, uh, boot camp sessions. And if you've got an interest in being held accountable and finding a challenge, um, even in working out in your own home, reach out to me. Uh, I can make some recommendations about the programs that I've done, uh, P90X, Body Beast, Insanity Asylum, all the other different beach body programs that I support as a coach. Be glad to give you my um, feedback and guidance and recommendation, as well as accountability and motivation to get through them. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.